When you upgrade to Windows 11 or get a new Windows 11 PC, there are settings you'll likely want to change to improve the performance, increase your productivity, and enhance the overall usability. Coming up, I'll show you settings that you'll want to change on Windows 11 right away. Let's get started. We'll be starting out with the absolute basics first before moving on to the more advanced settings later in this video. One of the first things you'll notice when you first launch Windows 11 is that the default browser is Microsoft Edge. While it's improved quite a bit, you may have another browser that you prefer using. To change the default browser, right click on the start menu in the taskbar and select settings. Another way to open settings is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I key. In the left pane, select Apps, then click on Default Apps. Now go through the list and find the browser you already have installed to be your default browser. In this example, I'll go with Brave and select it. When Windows 11 first launched, they made the process more difficult. You used to have to go to each file type to set the default for that file type. They got so much backlash for this that they created a button here at the top to set a browser as the default. So for whatever browser you selected, simply click on Set Default. After making the change, for most links you click on from your email or any other non-browser source, they'll now open in the default browser you chose. And as you can see, this is not perfect. You may still need to go through the various file types to change them individually for those that were not changed. So I'll change this one here, click on it, select the browser, then click on Set Default. Often when you buy a new Windows 11 PC, you'll find unwanted third-party programs, sometimes referred to as crapware, pre-installed, like antivirus trialware, often from McAfee or Norton, free-to-play games like Candy Crush, and other software taking up disk space and resources. To uninstall these programs in the Settings app, let's go back into Apps here on the left, and select here at the top, Installed Apps. Now go through the list and remove all of the pre-installed third-party programs you don't want. When you find one you want to get rid of, click the three-dot menu icon to the right of it and select Uninstall. Then click Uninstall again. Keep going through the list of apps and remove those you would never use or you don't trust. By default, Windows 11 apps Menus and folders have a light background with black text. A quality of life improvement that's easier on your eyes is to enable dark mode. To do this in settings, select personalization in the left pane, then select colors. Where it says choose your mode in the drop down menu, your choices are light, dark, and custom. Select dark. That is so much better. This will give you a black background with white text. Choosing custom lets you mix it up, whether it's a light or dark mode for default Windows mode and default app mode. Now I'll be blunt. Most companies will say that they truly care about your privacy. The truth is they don't. That includes Microsoft. And to be fair, that includes Apple as well with their marketing fluff. So let's reduce what Microsoft knows about you. In settings in the left pane, select privacy and security. In Windows Permissions, select General. Switch the toggles for all five of these to Off. Let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. Let websites show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Let Windows improve start and search results by tracking app launches. Show me suggested content in the Settings app. And show me notifications in the Settings app. While Microsoft uses clever wording to make these sound like a benefit to you, they're not. So it's best just to switch them off. If you have a budget PC that does not have a lot of disk space, Storage Sense can help you out to free up space for files that you no longer need. In Settings, to enable Storage Sense, select System in the left pane. Then here on the right, click on Storage. In Storage Management, click the toggle for Storage Sense to turn it on. Now click into it. Click to check the box next to keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. In Configure Cleanup Schedules for Run Storage Sense, 
you can configure it to run every day, every week, every month, or during low free disk space, which is the default. I have this set to every week. For delete files in my recycle bin, if they have been there for over, your choices are never or one day up to 60 days. I have this set for 14 days. You have the same choices for delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than, and that's never or one day up to 60 days. I prefer to have this set to never, which is actually the default. When setting up Windows 11, it will automatically decide on the proper size of the text, icons, and other elements for your display. Sometimes the scaling can be too small to read or too large where everything doesn't fit. To change the display settings, in settings, select system on the left and display on the right. Select the display here at the top if it's not already selected that you may need to adjust. Scroll down and look for the section, scale, and layout. First in display resolution, make sure the correct resolution for your display is selected. Select the drop down for scale and experiment with various percentages to find a scaling that works best for you. When I initially set up this display, it was set at 150%, which made everything too small. So I changed it to 200%. A big change to Windows 11 when compared to its predecessors is that the taskbar alignment for the start menu and other icons are now centered in the taskbar. If you prefer the old left alignment, here's how to change that. In settings, select personalization in the left pane. Scroll down and select taskbar. Click on taskbar behaviors. Then for taskbar alignment, click the drop down menu and select left. And as you'll see, the start menu and the other icons are now aligned to the left. I've actually gotten used to the center alignment, so I'll switch it back. When you start up your computer, there may be many unneeded programs that will also want to start taking up system resources, slowing down your boot time. To disable those programs, you don't need immediately upon launch. In settings on the left pane, select apps. Then here on the right, at the bottom, Click on Startup. For those programs that are enabled that you don't need when your computer boots up, click the toggles to turn them off. Those suffixes at the end of file names that let you know the type of file are hidden by default. Being able to see the file type is important. For example, you wouldn't want to click on what you think is a JPEG image file that turns out to be an executable infected with malware. In File Explorer, to make all file extensions visible, click on View here at the top, go down to Show, and click on File Name Extensions. You'll now see the extensions for your files, no matter where you are in File Explorer. While we're here, Microsoft hides many files and folders, including operating system files. Let me go to where there are hidden folders and files. Click on View, go down to Show, and click on Hidden Items. And now those that were hidden are now visible. For those times your computer misbehaves due to a faulty driver, an install of bad software, or some other reason, your best option is to revert back to a time when your PC worked perfectly. To do this, you'll need to enable system protection and set up system restore points. So go to the search box and type restore point. Select create a restore point. With the System Protection tab here at the top selected, select the System Drive, which for most of you will be the C Drive. Then click on Configure. Click to turn on System Protection. Then in Disk Space Usage, move the slider to adjust the maximum disk space used for system protection. I recommend anywhere from 3 to 5%. Click OK. To create your first restore point, click on Create. Give it a name. I'll just call it first restore point. I won't be doing this now because I've already done this, but when you click on create, just wait for it to finish. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What settings would you recommend people change on Windows 11? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Windows 11 tips and tricks and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.